it was a blockbuster wedding by any measure. Greatman, Tongai Gwes, and Salibaziso Masara's marriage ceremony held at Village Gardens had all the ingredients to make it one of the best wedding events of the year. Talk of world class decor, quality entertainment, nice food, drinks, and a powerful guest list. The February 6 glitzy event, which resembled a fashion show, attracted musicians, socialites, politicians, business people, government officials, family and friends. It was indeed a day to remember, not only for the couple, but for all in attendance and those that followed proceedings on social media. Sadly, the joy was short-lived for the newlyweds. With Valentine's Day on tomorrow, one would expect a couple to be still enjoying their honeymoon. This, however, is not the case. The couple and their families are stressed. In fact, they are currently under siege from service providers that are collectively demanding more than U2.500. But, how could Greatman be in debt when the event was seemingly well funded? A war of words has since erupted, with the musician accusing event organizers, Teo Events, of dishonesty in handling donated funds and goods. Teo has failed to provide a financial statement or receipts showing how funds were used. Up to now, I don't even know how much money we got from various people, including pledges and goods. We have been kept in the dark, fumed Greatman.But Teo events, which was responsible for sourcing funds for the wedding and putting all logistics in place, denies the allegations. The events company is famed for organizing cynical Katamonga and Ruben Jivha's wedding party that went viral online. Greatman said he started suspecting that something was not right a few days before the wedding after Teo Events completely took over the event. They monopolized everything. Teo directed all cash donations to their bank accounts and mobile numbers for mobile money transfers. Goods were received on our behalf. We got nothing. What is surprising though is that there are service providers that are yet to be paid. I am said to be in arrears of more than US$2.500. However, I know cash donations that came through on the day and before could have easily settled the debts. Dot family spokesperson Mr. Clever Gways, better known as Baba Billy, was equally furious. I am not happy with the way this wedding was handled. Teo events stole from us. They took over everything and made us mere spectators of our event. Relatives from both the groom and bride's side were left with little or no space to maneuver, complained Baba Billy. However, Matthew Membier of Teo Events is not taking the accusations lightly. He instead considers Greatman and his family ungrateful. They now want to ask how much money we got from donations and pledges, yet they don't even care about the expenses I incurred in making the event a success. Besides, it is not my responsibility to meet their debts. They were all there when I paid all the wedding costs that came under me. What else do they want? Anyway, I don't want to talk to them anymore. I have since blocked their numbers. I don't wish to talk about this subject anymore said Membier. Debts are not the only crisis currently afflicting the Gwes family. My in-laws were disrespected. Honestly, I have never seen a wedding event where a mother or father-in-law queue for food. It is taboo. I tried to have this addressed on the day, but the organizers would not listen added Greatman. His aunt, Lizzie Gwes, was beside herself with anger. Right now, we are having sleepless nights over this and many other issues that transpired on the day. It was a nice event, but I now regret everything, said the aunt. She added that their in laws, the Masara family, were not given a platform 
to speak throughout the event. Tao Events prioritize their business associates and friends ahead of our family's interests. We are going to the Masara family to plead for forgiveness since they want to take us to court for various cultural violations that took place during the ceremony. We are actually trying to source some money so that we can compensate them," she said.